Well, after three days of prayer and fasting by Esther and her maids and all the Jews of Susa, then on the third day, she put on her royal robes and she stood in the inner court of the king's palace opposite of the king's hall, where the king was sitting on his royal throne. And that brings us to our verses of the day, Esther chapter 5, verses 2 and 3. As soon as the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court, she won his favor, and he held out to her the golden scepter that was in his hand. Then Esther approached and touched the top of the scepter. The king said to her, What is it, Queen Esther? What is your request? It shall be given you even to half of my kingdom. On many ways, this is actually the climax of the book of Esther. Uh, the faith, the courage, the fasting and prayer all leads up to this moment. Will Esther be welcomed or will she be killed? And as you can see, the king is gracious. And it's kind of a hyperbole to say, what can I do for you? I'll give you anything you want, even up to half my kingdom. Um, but what the king is really saying is, it's safe, he's open, he is looking at her with favor. And if you read throughout chapter 5, then Esther is able to go on and to share about why she has come before the king and the terrible plot against the Jews. And the rest of the story, as we'll hear later in the week, will begin to unfold. Have you ever had an experience in your life where you were nervous about having to go speak to someone? Maybe it was uh, someone you were romantically interested in. Maybe it was a boss who you were fearful of approaching to talk about something. Uh, or maybe you had to talk to a subordinate. Uh, but have you ever been in that position similar to Esther where you had to kind of get your courage up to go speak to someone and you're hoping and praying that your presence and what you have to say will be received favorably? I've certainly had that experience more than once, and I'm guessing most of us have. And part of what it teaches me is the importance of when people come to you, when people come to me, to remember that oftentimes, even though we don't think of it, people may be more fearful, more anxious, more worried, more hesitant, to speak or to share what's on their heart or what their need is or what they're wrestling with than we may be aware of. And so that's a lesson for us to remember, to try to be as gracious as the king appears here, where as soon as he saw Esther, he held out his scepter and asked, what is it, Queen Esther? What is your request? It's basically the king making her feel comfortable and at ease. And that's something we all can do when people approach us.